headquarters here at 10 Tampa Bay. We keep you informed, prepared, and connected. And first of all, hey, this weekend the weather looks great. But again, the tropics still big problems taking place. We've got a 90% chance of a tropical storm developing. It looks like as early as Monday. So two things I'm seeing. I'm seeing a better organized system and likely to impact Florida and us here at home. Okay, so right now, all eyes on the tropics. Hurricane Center giving it a 90% chance now of tropical development. We're in a holding pattern for the most part though this weekend. Okay, you're not going to see much changes. So this is the weekend where you check your supply list, right? And those essentials. Make sure you have the water and the batteries. This is a good tune up for us, right? We're heading toward the peak of the season and really this is our big first local threat of the season. So we're waiting on Franklin. Franklin's going to be a major hurricane staying east of the United States, but it could be near Bermuda as we head into next week. Once we start to see Franklin get better organized and move north, yeah, things are going to start moving in the atmosphere very quickly. So Monday, things could start to go downhill in the southern Gulf of Mexico where we could have a name storm, Idalia, and that'll start to make a move toward Florida, it looks like, as we head into later Monday. And for us, local impacts Tuesday and Wednesday. Let's zoom in. You can see a little better organization here on our satellite picture. Thunderstorms becoming a little better organized, but again, more of a broad area of low pressure at this point. Uh, we're not expecting much in the way of organization, at least until later tomorrow and Monday. We take a look at the ocean heat content. We know it's bath water out there, right? So uh, we do have some ingredients that will bring this together as a, a more potent system. And yes, at least a tropical storm, it looks like at this point. And if it's named, it would be Idalia. OK, so we're on the eye storms and eye storms usually are bad news, right? You have a, most retired storms are start with I. Now, I'm not expecting this with Idalia, so that's some good news for us. But uh, we're going to watch it carefully as we always do. I'm thinking more in terms of a tropical storm uh, event for Florida. OK, so as we look at what it means for us, I've got tropical storm conditions the way it looks right now, likely here at home Tuesday and Wednesday. And really Tuesday, that'd be later in the day, Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday. So really the worst weather could actually be overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning. These numbers will continue to fine tune. Notice rainfall, we need it. So there's our silver lining, three to six inches plus. Not too concerned about major flooding, but we are concerned about the water aspect, the surge. We could have a southwest wind really push a lot of water toward us. So the surge we've updated to be a little higher, could be in the three to five foot range. But again, this could all shift a bit based on the track and we'll keep fine tuning. Take a look at the winds. You have more of the tropical storm force wind gusts. We've seen so many times here in Tampa, 30 to 50 miles per hour plus. And of course, with those higher gusts and those tropical feeder bands. So again, we will keep you and your family safe. Just keep checking back with us. That would be Tuesday and Wednesday. The reason I'm thinking this is more of a tropical storm event for us. Well, let's take a look at our wind shear map. We've got plenty of it, right? So we're watching the Caribbean, Northwest Caribbean here. We have an emerging and developing tropical storm next week, but plenty of wind shear in its path, right? So a very hostile environment. So I'm not expecting a monster storm by any, any means, but uh, again, uh, some good news is that we don't have an atmosphere very conducive uh, to develop a hurricane or a major hurricane at this point. So we'll keep an eye on that, but the shear is working in our favor. And a second thing we're gonna see is a quick moving system. All right, so you look at the spaghetti models. We've got an upper level low right now uh, near Pensacola. That'll start to move out. And what's going to really steer the storm will be our ridge of high pressure. Notice, moving right into Florida here, and especially southeast Florida near Miami as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. And what that'll tend to do, uh, these storms like to ride around the periphery of these highs, that would likely push the storm track a little farther west of Tampa. So I'm still thinking the Big Bend area and some of the latest trends have it a little farther west toward uh, areas of Panama City, maybe Tallahassee. So these are the areas we're going to start to uh, continue to watch very closely. And of course, uh, still waiting on the hurricane hunters to get out there and investigate. So we'll continue to update the spaghetti models. But notice we do have good agreement in the models that whatever does form in the southern Gulf and the Caribbean is likely to impact us here in Florida. So giving you a heads up on that. As far as winds, it's going pretty fast there. But if you look at it, the worst of the wind, not a huge wind event by any means, I still think about 30, 40, 50 mile per hour wind gusts as we head into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning before we start to see improving conditions. The one thing this will be known for, I think, for us would be the surge. We've got to watch the surge and the rain, OK, mainly a rainmaker. And you can see the very heavy rain along its path as it moves and rides along the eastern Gulf of Mexico up toward uh, the Big Bend and, of course, the west coast of Tampa. So if you're in the coastal areas of Pinellas County, Pasco County, Nature Coast, 
all right, watching for Sarasota and Manatee counties, you would see the highest rainfall totals with this system. All right, the areas that uh, really need it, that they're in the drought, right? So we'll continue to keep a tally on that rain right now, three to six inches plus with those higher amounts along the coast. And as we look at the big picture, seven day forecast, here's our beautiful weekend. All right, and I appreciate you checking in with us and we'll continue to do that all weekend with weather updates from our weather team. Uh, we take a look at record heat today, tomorrow, only an isolated thunderstorm. That's about it in the afternoon. Monday, a few more scattered storms in the afternoon, 94. Notice though, the two days to watch with our tropical storm conditions would be Tuesday and Wednesday, 80, 90% chances of rain and windy. And look at that, finally a break in the heat. Took a tropical storm after all. Mid to upper 80s for highs. And then Thursday and Friday, we'll start to dry out and get ready for a quieter weather period here at home and in the tropics. And of course, stay with us here at 10 Tampa Bay. We'll keep you informed, prepared, and connected. Have a great weekend.